Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to conduct a chi-squared goodness of fit test using Minitab. And specifically um, for this demonstration, we'll be assuming equal probabilities in the null hypothesis. And we'll consider two situations. One situation where we have the data in a frequency table, and that's sort of how you're used to seeing it. And then the other situations where the data is in standard format where every row is a case and every column is a variable. So it's really hard for a human to digest information like this, but um, it works well with software. Okay, so um, let's set it up in the context of the preliminary example from chapter 11.1. Right, and it goes like this. You roll, take a look at this table down here. We roll a die 60 times and we count the number of outcomes. And the outcomes can be a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or 6. And so we got 7 1s, 6 2s, 11 3s, 15 4s. And so you'll notice in a totally fair die, we'd expect these outcomes, the counts, to be about the same. So we're testing the claim that this is a fair die by testing that the probabilities of all the different outcomes are equal, right? Okay, so to do this in Minitab, we need to put our data into a uh, Minitab worksheet. And um, we'll put it in one of these two ways. So in the first case, our data will be in a frequency table. So what I mean by that is it looks like this. We have a column called outcome and a column called counts, right? And there's the um, little frequency table. Works really well. Easy to do. And then we're going to follow this set of instructions right here. So we have to go to Stat. We're going to go down to Tables. Oddly enough, it's sort of hidden under Tables. And then Chi-squared Goodness of Fit. Click on that. And so we have some options. So our observed counts, that's under the category counts, um, not coincidentally, but it didn't, it didn't have to be. Had I named this column something else, that's what I would do. So and I'm, I'm not typing in the word counts because that's what I want. I'm typing in the word counts because that's this cell, this column name. For example, when you get here, these won't even, those will be blank. And so you have to highlight, you have to click inside one of these boxes and then your, your, your options will be over here, what columns you can choose from. So for my observed counts, I have a column called counts, and I'll select that. And then for the category names, that's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those are the outcomes. So I select that. And you have a few options under test, equal proportions, spe specific proportions. This is a test where we're testing equal proportions. Um, you can check graphs here to see what you want. Um, I like to get a bar chart of the observed and the expected frequencies. Um, that's because it sort of helps me see which ones are furthest off, right? Um, the bar chart of each category's contribution to the chi-square, that, that gets a little busy. So I don't do that one, but you can. Okay. And then I click OK. And the first thing it does, and this is why I like this graph, it shows all the expected frequencies in uh, gold here. And notice they're all equal and the observed frequencies. So you can see four, you know, the, the, the number four appeared on this dice more than it was expected, and the number two less than it was expected. So that's sort of nice information to have. But I'm going to get rid of that. Click, and I don't want to save it. And then the results of the chi-square test are found right here. Right. So the chi-square test statistic is 6.4, and the p-value is 0.269. All right, and those are the same answers we got when we did this by hand in the textbook. All right, a little easier. Uh, by the way, that p-value is, is too big. You're not going to reject um, the null hypothesis with that sort of p-value. And so we don't have enough evidence to reject this null hypothesis. In other words, there's not enough evidence to suggest that this um, die is not fair. Right. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do this exact same process, only with the data in standard format, where the rows equals the cases and the columns equal the variables. So let me pull up the data in that format. Um, I think I have it open already. Nope. Um, so I'm going to go File, Open a Worksheet. It is Goodness of Fit Dice in Standard Format. Okay. So here's what that looks like. 
And boy, that is not what I thought it was going to be. Shouldn't there be another column? There it is. <laughs> yeah, I had to get up here and, and, and hit the left arrow to see column one. OK, good. Back on track. So notice in standard format, every row is a case. And here, this little frequency table, that, that represents 60 rolls of a die. So when every, ro when every row is a case, we actually have 60 rows. And basically, it's just the roll number, one, two, three, I rolled this thing 60 times. And these are the outcomes. We've got a six, a three, a two, a two, a one. And so you have to put it in this standard format um, to use the process I'm about to demonstrate. And it looks a lot the same. I start off with the exact same first sequence. I go stat, um, tables, chi-squared, goodness of fit test. Only now I have um, my observed counts. Um, oh, OK. So I'm not even doing observed counts. Because notice, there is no observed counts, right? All I have are my categorical data of outcomes. It looks like um, numerical because these outcomes are uh, what's showing on a die, but it's actually categorical. So I'm going to click this option, Categorical Data. Um, let me get rid of this, this. OK. Blood type, that's not even an option. So notice, you might get some leftover information in there. All right, Categorical Data, that is Outcome. I'm going to select that, put it in there. And, and notice, that's really easy. All I'm doing is looking at this one column of outcomes, categorical data, and I'm testing in equal proportions. I click OK. I get the exact same results with um, the exact same test statistic and p-value. Right? So it's, uh, it's easy either way. This is how you probably would see the data summarized you know, in a report or something. And this is how the data might be stored in like a database or uh, something like that. OK, so mini tab, chi-squared goodness of fit test, pretty easy stuff.